Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from EcoPoint. Today let's work on five questions in five minutes. So a bag contains 20 tickets marked with numbers 1 to 20. One ticket is drawn at random. Find the probability that will that will be multiple of 2 or 5. So what do we need? We have a bag with tickets 1, 2 till 20. Okay. So the case is where n is 20. Let A be the event getting a multiple of 2 B event getting a multiple of 5 event A has how many entries in it 10 Okay, there are 10 multiples of 2, that is, you have 2, 4, 6, all the evens, 10 even numbers here. So, probability of A is equal to 10 upon 20, that is 1 by 2. Now, probability of B, similarly, B would consist of 5, 10, 15, 20. So probability of B is equal to 4 by 20. That is 1 by 5. And clearly probability of A intersection B, it has two entries out of 20. So A or B, probability A or B is same as saying probability A union B. So this means it is 1 by 2 plus 4 by 20 minus 2 by 20 and that will turn out to be 3 by 5 which is 0.6 so c is the correct answer number two which of the following are correct in case of normal distribution that is for a symmetric distribution Number one statement is Q1 plus Q3, the quartile, first quartile and third quartile is equal to twice of the median. Second statement is quartile deviation is 1 by 3 sigma. Uh, C statement is quartile deviation is 2 by 3 sigma. D statement is all moments of odd order about mean are zero. And E statement is Q1 plus Q2. Q2 itself is median, is equal to median. Well, the first statement, that is statement A, Q1, which is the first quartile, and Q3, which is the third quartile, is equal to twice of median. This is approximately correct. It's a, it's a correct statement for a symmetric distribution because if you look at a symmetric distribution, you have Q1 here, Q2, which is also your median, Q3, and Q3 here, and this relation will hold true, okay? And the second statement is standard deviation. Uh, one third of the standard deviation is quartile deviation. Uh, what is quartile deviation? Quartile deviation is Q3 minus Q1 upon 2, okay? Now, this is not equal to 1 by 3 sigma. In fact, for a normal or a symmetric distribution, this is actually equal to 2 third of sigma. So B is not the correct, uh, you know, op not B is not the correct statement. In fact, C is correct. Now, statement D is talking about moments around mean. So, all moments, that is the expected value of x minus about mean, that is x minus mu. And they're talking about uh, odd, so 2k minus 1, uh, basically. So, 2k minus 1. So, if you observe, this will be equal to 0 in case of normal distribution. So, what's going to happen is that your... If you observe expected value of x minus mu, for that matter, uh, you know, taking the power to be 1, and this will be clear to you that this will be just ex minus mu. So this is mu minus mu, 
and this becomes zero. So for in fact, all uh, other odd powers also will give you the same thing. So this statement is correct. So in normal distribution, all moments of odd order about mean are zero. And then the, th the E uh, statement is Q1 plus Q2 is equal to median. Q2 itself is median. This is absolutely not uh, correct. So what statements are correct? A statement is correct. C is correct. And D is correct. Let's look at the options. Where can we see that? We can see it in option C. A, C, D to be correct. Okay. Next question is, uh, Hari's score in statistics in the first year is 76, whereas the class average is 68 with standard deviation of 5. What is Hari's Z score? Well, we just have to find out Z value here. Now, what is Z score? Z, Z is basically X minus expected value of X upon sigma of X, right? So it's given to us x value is 76 the mean value is 68 and the standard deviation is 5 so this is what we will use you will get 8 by 5 which is equal to 1.6 well so option b is the correct option question number four we have to find the rank of this matrix that you can see here so rank of a where a is so the first operation what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a one here so how I will do it, I'm, I'm making fractions here. So R1 goes to 1 by 6 of R1. So this becomes 1 half 5 by 6. And you have minus 10 to 8, 5 to 3. Now with the operations R2 goes to R2 plus 10 times R1. And R3 goes to R3 minus 5 times R1. I'm going to get. So here you will get 1 half 5 by 6, 0, 0 here. And 2 plus 10 by 2, that is 7. And 8 plus 50 by 6, that is 98 by 6. Here you will have 2 minus 5 by 2, so it's going to be minus 1 by 2. And 3 minus 25 by 6, that is minus 7 by 6. So what we will get, we what we can, so what we will do here, R2 goes to 1 by 7 R2, that is you are taking 7 common, so you will get 0, 1, 14 by 6. So 1 by 7 of 98 by 6 will be 14 by 6. And your last row is uh, 0 minus half minus 7 by 6. So what you can actually observe here, the last operation R3 goes to R3 plus half of R2. This will lead you to 0, 1, 14 by 6, 0, 0, zero so the last row is zero so how many linearly independent rows you have you have two linearly independent rows so two is the rank of this matrix now why did we have to actually work it out like this the reason why we had to have to do it it, it was a three cross three case if you will find the determinant of this matrix, you will find that the determinant is actually equal to zero. If the determinant is equal to zero, it's not full rank. So what the rank is, you will have to figure it out. And finally, you have the answer two. Two is the rank. Last question for today, integrate x square upon x plus two. These are the options. So we have to integrate x square upon x plus 2. It's an indefinite integral. So what you can do here is you can add and subtract 4. Once you do that, you will be able to create a square minus b square. So I will break this integ integral x square minus 4 one side upon x plus 2 dx and 4 upon x plus 2 
dx along its side. Now, here, if you see, what you can do is you can use a squared minus b squared and you will get x minus 2 dx. And here, what you can do is you will directly have to just integrate this. And the integral of this will be 4 log mod x plus 2 plus c. And here, if you integrate, you get x square by 2 minus 2x. So, the total answer is x square by 2 minus 2x plus 4 log mod x plus 2 plus c. And if we go back to the options, can we find it anywhere? Well, you do have options like these. So, x square by 2 minus 2x, x square by 2 minus 2x plus 4 log x plus 2 by uh, x plus 2 plus c that should be the correct answer hopefully this video will help you out in uh, you know deciphering that you can get varied kind of questions and how quickly you manage in simple questions and a little bit time could go for a little heavier questions and how you manage your time in your exam try to do these questions in maximum 5 to 10 minutes thank you very